Houston, Texas. For several months, Nicole Schrader lived alone in this gated complex, where she felt safe and secure. But that all changed when she began to suspect that someone was entering her apartment while she was away. I noticed things went right when I started coming home to just random lights left on in my house, when I started noticing things not the way I left them. When it keeps happening, she invests $200 in a video surveillance camera disguised as a digital clock. I set it up on the entertainment center facing my front door. The stage is set. And what Nicole records that same day shatters any sense of security she might have had. A complete stranger has broken into her apartment. When I open this on my laptop and see that this person is in my house, I am freaking out. I'm hysterical. The intruder moves about at will, digging through her most personal belongings. But what he does next leaves her feeling even more violated. He undresses and puts on Nicole's lingerie. I, I honestly have never been that scared in my life. After indulging his strange compulsion, he gets dressed and makes a careful exit. Horrified, Nicole turns the video over to the police, who release it to the media. Several viewers identify the suspect, Sean Rogers, who lives just three miles away. We got the phone call that he had been arrested, and that was, that was amazing. <laughs> that was the best feeling in the world. They caught somebody. The acts caught on tape are only misdemeanors, but Rogers makes a crucial mistake. Prior to his arrest, Rogers returns to Nicole's apartment, discovers her video camera, and steals it. That elevates his crime to felony burglary. I think the videotape really impacted the trial by painting a picture to the jury as to what type of person this was and what he was capable of. Found guilty, Rogers gets eight years in prison. And Nicole Schrader feels a little safer. If I hadn't installed the camera, I think something very dangerous could have happened. 